Alright, let's go! Welcome back to some daily Final Fantasy XIV, Heaven's Legend of the Liger Dragon, Heaven's Sword, Episode 4. I am Rex like a kid you, the guy who's the guy who's a space cyberpunk loving, space traveling, pro wrestler, and universal champion. Anyways, uh let's why don't we get back to the story, shall we? Uh there's some things I wanna do now. I found out I can become a dark knight. So I'm probably gonna do that in the coming days. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it today. But if we get if we go back to the foundation, I really want to do that. Ah, I really, I really want, I really want to do that. Like that'd be a cool thing to add to um the list of all the um all the classes, not the class, the roles that I play. But yeah, anyways, let's get to this, shall we? All right, let's speak to Yasela. Ya, ya, say. Yeah, say, yeah, yeah, say like, that's what I'm, I did pronounce it right. Alright, I'm gonna be doing a lot of jump cuts for the recording. So, uh, just, just be aware of that, okay? Bear with me. I'll try to keep, I'll try to also keep this episode short. I'm probably gonna be, um, uh, uh, recording, I mean, not recording, streaming for like a little while. Uh, and then I'll, after that, um, after I finish recording, uh, I'll explain what I'm gonna be doing for the week. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's go. All right, all right. Let's see what yeah, yeah. Sela. Okay. The Sela seems occupied with the thoughts of the Nat Nats and their primal. So the Nats have summoned their god, and thus the mystery of their newfound brilliance laid to rest. You are not. Are you not glad, Lady Iceheart? Are you really instigating right now? Are you? <sighs> okay. I thought you would be appalled. You would applaud them for their summoning of their primal to further their own ends. After all, you did. You really are up. All right. I've had enough with with both of you. Why don't? Why don't you shake hands or kiss and make up? Whatever it is, I don't care. I've had it up to here. Up to here with you, both of y'all. Alright? I did not reach out to St. Shiva to further my own ends. I desired her strength only to forge a new, a new the peace between man and dragon. But what a fool I am to speak of peace to you, bloodthirsty savage who murdered... Without a thought of compassion, complication. Enough, enough! I say. If this Nath have truly brought forth their deity from the Aether, we must face it together, or watch our hopes fall apart. All now rest upon this primal's defeat. But are we to think to confront it? We must first study its origin. That is the nature of the god. What manner of faith sustains the, its existence? My apologies. You are right. Of course. Let us return to the tail feather and consult with Marshamp. He knows uh, more of the gnat of the gnats and their culture than than most. Alrighty then. Alright, I guess we're returning back to the camp. The quickest way. There we go, and teleport. Hit the dash. Okay. Oh, look at it! Oh my god, that's so adorable! Look at it now! The little baby chocobo! Oh my god, look at him! Look at him go! Okay, okay quickly distract him. Alright.
Oh, back already, are we? Hmm. Ah, met the Naf, did you? And what? And what if it you like to? Summon the primal, you say? Seven hells. Well, I don't know. I don't know bugger all about the Nath religion, but honestly believe they trading habits were never seen much point of in asking. But it should be that hard, shouldn't be that hard to find out. From time to time, we bar barter with a small hive to the north and the west of here. Outcasts from the main tribe. From what I understand, I reckon they'd be willing to tell you a bit of themselves if you give them the uh, right incentive. That sounds promising. And what exactly would a Nath consider to be a right incentive? Oh, nothing your average hunter can't um, scourge up in a day or two. But seeing as you're in a hurry, you might be you might want to divide the chores amongst yourselves. You don't want a good sized jar of of land trap nectar, a basket of cerulean fruit, and always a gnat's favorite, a generous portion of young knockoff flesh. I shall gather the fruit, leaping to the lower branches to the lo to the forest giants should be sent a little challenge to me. And I shall collect the nectar with Master Ophanud, arcane assistant. That leaves you to bring home the meat. You need to carve it up from the smaller nakas that live in the river. Three big chunks could be enough, I reckon. Once you got everything together, you'll need to sit down with the um, what we call a training post here, and I'll mark the post on your map. You've been most kind, Master Master March March Champ. Well then, let us attend to the re respective task and recover the trading post. I need Hurdy. Hardly add the last one. The last one there is rotten. Last one there is a rotten Naka egg. Alrighty then. Alright, I'm gonna jump cut this mission. In three, two, one, and all right, and we're back. We gathered everything, and I think we're gonna face the primal, so that's why I unpaused it. So everything appears to be in order. It seems. Ah, wait. What? What I get? It seems everything appears to be in order. Assuming no one has any objections. To my choice presentation i shall place the offerings in trading post and uh instructed where um where i or i of the gans or is that one or i i i think i would be suitable suitably impressed well how long must we wait should we have uh, sounded a signal or something? Calm yourself, Master Lufanu. Alfano. Our offering has not gone unnoticed. Long has it been since hunters last came to trade. Bearing gifts that filled the air with such delightful scent. Land trap nectar. Clam, clam tree fruit. Naka flesh. We de we delectable foods we um, brought for us our emergent mere our our meager existence is much enticed by your bounty. Come hunters, come to our hive. I would. I would love I would trade. Clamps and snipping our homes are but net ranked intents keep the dragons at bay. Clamp Safely And horrible smelly But better to live and stench than to be cracked and crunched in a dragon's jaw, yes? Come come. It is not far. All right. Good. 
All right, let's see. Wait, where's the map? Okay, that's not that far. Wait, what the heck? Don't attack me, sir. Damn it! Why does everything in this forest want to attack me? Okay. That was my bad. Your presence has been announced to the storyteller. You must speak with a chosen leader in words. For we are Vance. We are the Nom the, the Nom the Nom Mine. So what oh Okay. Holy shit, this guy's got a mustache. Welcome to our hive hunters. <coughs> We have brought delicates much thought after for years. Uh, hang on. Is my audio on? Okay. For years, to have brought delicates up for years by our people. And we have much pleased that you would have in return. Honored Elder, we pray allow you me to begin by thanking you for welcoming us into your home. And for accepting our humble offerings. My companions and I are come in search of knowledge. Specifically knowledge of your people's God. Knowledge allowed? That's strange. Hunters you are, but if words you desire, then words you shall have. We of the Vance the Nom the Vance we are the Vance the Nomad. And to speak is of our fate you shall hear the fate of the Ganat of the Nat God. The god the the one mind summoned into the our midst. The one mind? See there the Nat the gnats who reside in the main colony. Yes, they are the ones connected. But let us begin the story as it began. As it is its beginning. Some moons ago, a single dragon flew flew in from the east, bleeding and weak. It fell from the sky into the hive, where it was stormed by my brethren, and with spear and spell and musket the dragon was slain was likely one of the one that had fled the battle from my kin kinsmen. I should commend you for finishing the job. Why are you instigating? Why are you instigating? Dragons are fierce and terrible adversaries. The one mind would always cower when their winged shadows pass over the ground, but but no one wall, but no longer. They had learned that a battle weary Dravanian was easy prey. Thus did the Overmind decide to heed the words of the black robe. Oh, damn it. Athians! The black robe man. Men. The one mind will call forth our god and unleash his blade upon the dragon. Dravanian's lands would become Nath lands. And even larger would grow our domain domain. But our god is ever hunger hunger. The price he demands in crystals is far exceeds the reward for this war. We are the bands despise the and revile his unsustainable insustainable existence. I guess they're not so different now. What the heck is this? Oh, okay. I can accept this mission, but I'm not gonna do it on stream. I don't. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Anyways. Ooh, there's a lot of side missions over here. Wait, are all these? Okay, no. No. Okay. I thought these were all um Aether and Aether current missions anyways. Uh if nothing happens. 
Okay. Yeah, mini cutscene. I call upon the power of the primal for the greater good. Crash it all the while I do so to give class to the land. I reason that there is an that that is a necessary evil and willingly shoulder the burden on my, of my sin. Instruct and suggesting that such crimes can be justified, you may argue that I presume too much, but you must surely say that I am aware of the magnitude of my transgression. Not so the gnats. They summon their deity for no greater purpose than to expand their dominion. To the signs of the seven dawn, one sworn to eliminate the primal threat, the discretion you draw seems questionable at best, but the fact remains that my own grandfather risked unleashing the power of the twelve in an attempt to prevent the calamity. Thus, while I may not condone your actions, I at least understand them. Not so the net. As you say so rightfully put it, it is truly seek not of the territorial gain. I can only con conclude that they are arrogant and r numerous consequences of their God's unsatiable appetite. The longer the primal is suffered to exist, the greater the suffering it will cause. It must be destroyed. How lightly you propose the destruction of a god, Master Lupinud. Well, considering I'm the warrior of light and I play primals already, how many times do I have to say this to your thick dragoon skull? I being um, whom we know not, has occurred to you that you may be sending a warrior of light to his death. Uh, no, I... Uh, you have the right of it, Aethelstein. So it would seem I am who am guilty of presuming too much. Pray forgive me, Rex. I do not fear my duty. Wait. Rex need not face this foe alone. Wait. Rex need not face this foe alone. Like him, I am blessed with the Echo's protection and may do battle without fear of a primal influence. Let me bear this burden. Ha! Huh. Do you truly imagine yourself a second warrior of light? Remind me how many primals you have faced, my lady. Not that that matters. We know not where the gods reside or how to challenge it. Unless you mean to pray until it appears. Hmm. Ezertine makes a valid point. Let us speak with the Vance and learn how best to secure an audience with their deity. At in this, at least, I may ah, uh, I may be of assistance. All right. Young Lord certainly appears eager to prove his worth. You don't know the half of it. Considering what he's been through, I fear that that may be the death of him. Alright. We are the best of the no of the no mind we do not oh no mind or the non mind i like no mind better we do not hear the one mind thoughts we cannot predict their will okay put the idea from your mind gracious hunter if you meet with our god, he will ha have your souls. Surely you are not so generous as that. You wish to meet our god? Offer yourself a sacrifice and you will soon be brought before him. We would mourn the loss of such generous hunters, however. Jesus, they're not even... Where is the... Alright, I'm jump cutting this. Oop. Nothing happens right now, I'm jump cutting. You're a generous hunter. Death, many gifts have brought enough to the vents. Maybe you should bring us one more. 
Very fond of Naka flesh. Yes, that meat is a uh, young Naka would make a fine recipe. Ah, okay, I'm jump cutting. I'm jump cutting right now. All right, and we're back from that jump cut. All right. All right. Only the only reason I cut away, oh, the only reason I came back is because they're well. It looks like we're gonna be fighting, so it's gonna be somewhat entertaining. Intruders! Your lives are forfeit. Oh my God, my voice cracked. Oh, shoot. The Overmind must be now aware of our intrusion. Let us press on into the hive and ensure that we have the host's undivided attention. All right. All righty then. That all. Holy shoot. That's a lot of damage. All right. That should be sufficient. We did not have our host full attention before, we must have it now. Our audience with the primal may be granted as soon as our catcher. Pray advise me once you have um, sealed your mind for the battle to come. Alrighty then. All right, let's deal with this. Are you prepared then? No, but I might as well be. <laughs> ah. Hold here, Rex. When next the, get and the gnats come, we were offered no resistance. Oh, 
There was no intruder. There is no escape. Enough. We surrender. Throw yourselves upon the mercy of your God. They seem eager to proceed. Good. Then they take us before their God. Pray leave matter to me. I know if what I know of summoning rituals holds true, I shall be well placed to act. Hmm. Mark the sound of the river rushing through the ravine behind us. Passing loud, is it not? I imagine the noise would serve as a ma to mask our escape should we need to withdraw temporarily. But you are prepared, are you not? I hope so. If you are to, <coughs> if you were to be dragged away from sacrifice uh, for sacrifice while you were haggling over the price of por potions, I would not be amused. Now we have but to wait. Oh, shoot. Oh, Lord Ravana, master of the sacred blades, wrath of the colony, conqueror of the world, hear our prayer. Pray grant unto your devoted children the gift of your divine presence. I don't like the look of this. He comes. Oh, shoot. Holy sh Oh my god My companion and I did not come to contest your children's territory. We wished only to learn the reason you wage war against the dragons. Thou wouldst flirt with death merely to satisfy thy curiosity. Wherefore should the glorious conquest of the Nath concern thee so?
We crave no alliance, Lord Ravana. Only peace. We would bring an end to our war with the dragons. Yet so long as they remain embroiled in this conflict with your children, our goal shall remain out of reach. Never before have the Nath risen up in such numbers, and never yet with you at their head. Why do you lead them to war? Thy question hath no meaning. To live is but to fight. Long have my children waited, gathering their strength in the shadow of thy ceaseless conflict. The Nath would see the Dravanians slain and their territory secured, and by such fervent prayers am I now given form. As I feared, your very existence is an obstacle to our goal. Since you are so fond of fighting, we challenge you, Lord of the Nath. And should we emerge the victors, I would have you swear to withdraw your soldiers from Dravanian soil. Should I emerge the victor, I would have thee swear to serve in mine army till thy last breath is spent. Do you accept? I do, and I believe the first bout is mine. What is she doing? Wait. Oh shoot, she's not gonna transform into Shiva's. <gasps> Damn. Final versus Primal. Holy shoot! Oh man, I hope she knows what she's doing. Oh no! Wait. Stronger. Mayhap 
with more crystals? Oh shit! They don't call me the warrior of light for nothing. A warrior then. Good. Mayhap thou will provide more sport than thy feeble companion. The Shayla. The Shayla. Doctor. Oh, sh oh my gosh! I can't. I can barely get through the hard, hard primals. Imagine what the extreme version of this primal is gonna be like. Forgive me. I was overconfident. All right. All right, I'm gonna jump cut. When uh, we reach the primal, um, I mean when we get enough people to reach the primal. All right. All right, we got a party. All right. Oh my God, the music. Right, don't lose your cursor this time. Good lord, this is epic. forgot all right what's the plan oh shit How dare you! And the oh shit. Oh, shit.
Alright, we're doing pretty good so far. Oh shit, okay, I'm gonna need some heals over here, guys. Alright, thank you. Oh God. Holy fuck. Oh God, the music got epicer. Oh my god, the music though! Yo, this is badass! An honorable warrior to the end. No cheap trick. GG. All right, now let's go back to the story. You do not disappoint, warrior of light. Would that I had your skill in battle. I do begin to see why so many place their faith in you. Eh, that's what I do. For all his savagery, I do not think Ravana won to break his word. Provided the dragons do not trespass upon Nath lands, they should have little to fear of the primal's biting blades. We have done well, have we not? Come, let us return to Vidofnir and share these glad tidings. Oh, there they are. Once more you achieve the impossible, bringer of light. But with every mortal heart that succumbs to fear and fury, another voice is joined to the chorus beseeching divine succor. At their bidding, warring gods will shake the firmament 
and your world will be consumed in the swelling storm of chaos. Damn, Athian. Anyways, we did it. Never since the first ever, never since we first fought, have I ever seen you drawn upon the full extent of your power, and never from afar. Till this day, you were a marvel to behold, Rex. Well, it is time to rejoin our companions. They will be eager to hear the tale and continue our journey. Alrighty then. Alright, let's jump cut to that right now. And we're back from that jump cut. Rex, Lady Yashe Yathela, thank the foe. We defeated their primal. And we had their word, they will not attack. Lord Bravana, I think. At Curie, the vents never mentioned his name. And you are quite certain he will keep his word. There is honor beneath his savagery. That we survived the encounter to um, all was a miracle. A miracle I must attribute to Rex. Never did I doubt you, Warrior of Light. Unlike you. Unlike some. You were gone so long that Master Ufanud were nigh lost in his wits with worry. Fretting like a um, mine for her sweetheart he was. Edelstein, that was truly unnecessary. <laughs> Not truly necessary, but certainly true. Ahem. What matters is that Primal is banished and our promise fulfilled. We should return to Windowfine. Windowfine. Ah. Uh, window. Windowfine. Window. Windolfin, Windolfinir, without delay. Damn it, I cannot pronounce these names. And let's not forget that this is our means to secure an audience with the worm Hathringar. Nidhogg's minions were not halt by the ideal chatter. Come, now we must make every moment count. You are unkind, Ezothan. For all the experience and intellect, Alphanud is still but a boy. <laughs> hey all right morning of the passing open note is keen uh it's keen to inform window window feet window window near the lord brand of the feet so we burn it on our way Way to Anita, uh, um, Annex Prime, then. It would not have the dragons think that we would have forgotten their bargain. Alright, let's jump cut to that shit. Actually, you know what? Let's just teleport. I'll do all this stuff later. Alrighty then. Yeah, it's getting uh close to an hour on the recording. Might as well get ready to wrap it up. Art thou returned, little one? Hast thou abandoned thy ill conceived consent with the nest? Not my friend. We return in triumph by Rex's hand with the beastman's god. Lord Ravana laid low and as overconfident the Primal swore to draw his followers from your lands in the event of his defeat a promise we believe he will keep the Nath shall trouble you no longer the deity is slain and how did thou content with the biting blade but the particular matter is not thou hast fulfilled thy promise and I shall fulfill mine attend me Attend me, mortals. I into the deepest breaches of the morn 
and there you shall find the halo the altar from which you may begin to ascend into the summit of solemn eye solemn isle but fairly, war fairly warning, the minions of Nidhogg shall not lightly suffer your presence in the sacred mount. By your struggles within the caravan, I shall judge your um, party possess sufficient fortitude to proceed. We shall not disappoint you, Vindolf uh, near. If memory serves, the caravan of Mor uh, Morn is entered to the second floor of the central tower. Let us begin the climb. All right, let's jump cut to that right now. And we're back. All right, now we just gotta wait here. Wait, hang on. Mask up, be polite. Uh, I think I might switch back to my old armor. I'm not liking this. All right. Well done, little one. As promised, I shall open the way to Thelum I Summit, and for thy and thy companion, for thee and thy the companion. Heed me now, child, man. The domain you seek you enter hath not seen visitors of your kind in nine thousand years. Though I freely grant you passage, your presence will not be welcome. To my kin, this mountain is revered, revered as holy ground and resting place, both um, where we you and the minions knit hog um, during the ascent, uh, tis certain that they shall make Great offense to your intrusion. We are grateful for your warning, gentle Vidofnir. My final words are to thee, Dragoon. Have care to keep the stolen power thou wield and check, lest it breed further despair. Azelstein? The way is open. Let us not tarry here. A moment, shall we? A moment. Shall we blindly forge on, knowing dangers await us? Tillman herself, um, Steel Man herself, is said to guard this peak. I fear not Ned Hogg's consort. Any dragon foolish enough to bear on our path shall feel the sting of my lance. Spoken like a true butcher. I need a, need I remind you that we are here to come to parlay in peace? Let us be clear, heretic. It was to save Ishgard and her people that I first lend my support to this doubtful venture. And this is for the sake that I go now to speak with Hasvagir. But I said nothing to Tiamon. Should the opportunity present itself, I will rid my people of one of the deadliest enemies I shall take it. That is my duty as the Azrul, Azrul Dragoon. You are beyond redemption. We will accompany We will accompany nothing but bickering. We will accomplish nothing but bickering. If we are to meet with Hasvagir, our path leads up the mountain. We shall defend ourselves if attacked, but avoid conflict wherever possible. That, that other choice, do, what other choice do we have? All right. What time is it? Oh, uh, okay. All right. I guess this is a good place to end it here. Uh, only going to be doing one stream today. Probably two streams tomorrow, maybe. Uh, anyways. Uh, so, yeah. That's going to be the plan. Is, uh, 
on Tuesdays and Thursdays, double stream, and then every other on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and maybe Saturdays, depending on what um what I'm doing on Saturday. Uh, I'll let you guys know. Uh, it's gonna be only final, daily Final Fantasy, but uh, yeah, for Tuesdays and Wednesday, no Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's gonna be a, I'm gonna be doing double streams and all that good stuff. So yeah. Thank you for coming to my stream. You can follow me on my social media. My Twitter handle is at LagerKidu underscore Rex. And my VOD channel on YouTube is Rex LagerKidu VOD. That's a capital V-O-D and a lowercase s. Thank you for coming to my stream. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye.